My name is Terry Voigt, Low Voltage Applications Engineer here at Toshiba International Corporation. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and program your Toshiba drive. Thanks for watching and let's get started. Today, I will be guiding you through the startup wizard on a Toshiba 9 series drive. This startup wizard is displayed the first time that the drive is powered up, right after the drive is set back to factory default settings, and can also be accessed via programming. To access it from programming, we need to push the mode button until we see the program screen at the top. Then we need to select the startup wizard entry. Once inside the startup wizard, we can go ahead and click run now. The first screen that comes up is your power line setting. I'm going to go ahead and mess this up and show you what happens. So I'm going to click 50 hertz. And my upper limit is set at 50 hertz. You can click the escape button to go back at any time in the wizard. Uh, so I'm going to go back and then select the 60 hertz setting. Now my upper limit is set to 60 hertz. I'm going to actually bring that down a little bit to 55 hertz. And if you noticed, I actually used a little trick there. If you rotate the knob while holding it in, the value will actually change using a multiplier. So I'm going to change my lower limit without using that little trick. And as you can see, it takes a little bit longer just because it only changes the value one at a time. Now we can go down to the next screen which is my XL decel times. We want to go ahead and leave this on manual and then go change the acceleration time uh, to 30 seconds using my little trick I just showed you. Once we have that saved, I'm going to leave my decel time at 10 seconds and then click the next button. This screen is the volts per hertz pattern. And this is actually the heartbeat of the what the drive actually does. By default, it's set at constant torque, which is good for most applications. We do also have voltage decrease curve, which is better known as variable torque for any fan or pump applications. We also have automatic torque boost and then also centralized vector control. In this case, we're just going to leave it at constant torque. Go ahead and go to the next screen. This is the motor data. Uh, so this is all of the information that is nameplated on the actual motor. Uh, so don't take any service factor into account just put in the actual amperage that is rated on the actual motor itself. And we also need to enter in the motor RPM as well. On the next screen you'll find your command source. That's where we're going to get our start and stop signal from. By default, it sets a terminal block. There are a few other options as well. Um, terminal block is what we're going to leave it at for now. Click the next button. The frequency source is where you get the how fast you're going to tell the drive from. The most common setting is V slash I. We'll set that. We'll click the next screen. And this is the display units. You can actually have the drive display the amps and volts in percentages of what the drive is rated for, or you can actually set it to the actual real amps and voltage values. We'll set it at that and go ahead and click our next screen. And we're done with the wizard. We can go ahead and hit the escape button if we need to make any further modifications. Otherwise, we can click the next and then finish. And that will finish up the wizard and get us back to our main screen. Thanks for watching Toshiba's drive application video. If you need any more help, please contact ASD Tech Support at the information below. Again, this is Terry. Thanks for watching.